Okay, in this video we're going to make a canopy height map. So what it really does is it nicely shows a little bit of map algebra. But before we get in there, just to set the stage here with our sample data, uh, we still have our bare earth view of the uh, Sanborn area. I've made uh, a now a slope map, a slope shade of the full feature, so the unfiltered data. And so there you see lots of trees, but you see nicely the buildings here. Uh, one couple of things to point out, uh, you can collapse these items here uh, on the table of contents just to make things easier to see. So this is the difference basically uh, between unfiltered and filtered for these digital elevation models. So what if we wanted to look at the height difference between them because that is basically the height of the vegetation as well as the structures but mostly it's the vegetation here so what we do is we're gonna go into our click here get our arc toolbox available if it's not already and instead of using the surface sub toolbox of spatial analyst we're going to use the map algebra and something that could become your friend called the raster calculator so this is really a powerful tool and it lets us do uh, arithmetic or algebra with the um, the grids that we have computed. So if you think about, we want to take get the height of the trees. We want to take the the unfiltered data and subtract from it the filtered, and the difference would be uh, the height of whatever's between the two, which is mostly the trees. So in this case, so what we do is we just double click here the Sanborn, this is the digital elevation model of the full feature, minus, and then elevation bare earth. So this is the one we had named earlier, but that's the filtered digital elevation model. And one thing I like to always say is, as much as possible, just click here. You could type this out, but uh, usually raster calculator is pretty sensitive, so let it do most of the work. Now the output raster, we want to put uh, over here in our working directory and so we'll call this uh, let's say uh, or maybe better let's because we have to work with a diff map okay and you'll see why I give it that name in just a minute so diff map and let's run it okay so there is the difference map and what it shows is that uh, looking over in the table of contents we can see that the highest tr trees or highest features are as, are 73 meters above the bare earth and so one thing I like to do is uh, maybe if we we could color code this to make it look greener so a range of greens taller trees are greener the only thing is that I'm not really happy about this because the differences include some negatives which means that the uh, unfiltered data go underneath the f the filtered which is maybe something that was accurate and could be a misclassification but really when I think of canopy I'm thinking of trees and so really it's some maybe everything above uh, 50 centimeters or a meter is what is going to be the effective canopy because you can see here in these fields it's there's uh, basically probably some vegetation that was classified there and so we're getting some small difference in elevation in those fields but really that's not the veg canopy height that we want so we get to introduce the second really powerful uh, function that is available from the raster calculator and that's to do a little conditional so right here this con if you double click on it and what happens is you see it sets it up and has a comma in the middle there and so it's a conditional it says whatever's true on the left side of the comma give me back whatever I tell you on the right side in those locations so what we're gonna say is con and make very careful that the cursors in the right location con diff map and I'm gonna say greater than or equal to one so what this says is everywhere where the difference map is greater than or equal to one, where that's true, now let's click on the other side of the comma, give me the difference map back, okay? And now let's change the name here. Now we, I wanna call this one the canopy, okay? 
So save and let's run it. Okay, so now let's turn off our first the difference map and I'm going to color our canopy again by that sort of light to dark green. And if I say okay, now what we can see is is these fields are and the open spaces are have no vegetation that is mapped with our little canopy. But you see in the valleys here we have quite tall trees again as high as 70 meters. So you could take these and make a nice layout in a map and, and have a nice canopy height map.